I will work 40, 30, 30 years ago. When I saw the book Ancient Future, I feel so inspired. I feel, oh, we have friends. Otherwise, we feel quite isolated. That we feel, you know, I feel, for me personally, I don't feel being a Buddhist, living in the hut, very remote, with very little belonging, doing meditation, is not uncivilized. But the whole society makes us feel that very uncivilized. If you don't have big house, you don't have television. So when we try to work on this thing, when Helena book came out, it's such a blessing. If you oh, we have friends who share the same frame of reference. So I just want to acknowledge Thank you. that, you know, Thank great you. contribution you do for us. And it's not only us, because when we translate, when we publish her book in Burmese, our Burmese friends feel the same. It's, oh, this is it. So it helps other people in other uh, society feel that they are not inferior. So this kind of book is very helpful. And looking from the Western perspective, you see the value here. It helps us to f look back at ourselves as well. So this is how we connect with Helena. I feel very close connection in terms of we share deep frame of reference mm. here. For me myself, yeah. I, I live here for 10 years and try to use, you know, participatory approach in this running this ashram. And Jane was with me for for five years in this in this community. When we run we start the GLT course. Then she got sick and she had to go back to Scotland. So I had to spend half time here, half time in Scotland. Luckily Jane also drawn to the eco village of Finhorn. So she sold Horn. And that's why when I go there, I also have a chance to share what kind of eco village is happening in the West. So I bring some knowledge from here to share there, and then bring some people from there to share here. So it's quite enriching each other. And you have been teaching uh, the 